Hello, my fellow randoms! I'd like to welcome you back to another episode of Cube World! As you may remember previously on Cube World, I got my ass handed to me by a lizard wizard over there in Ecolon Canyon. So I'm back, I'm better than ever, and I'm ready to head back there and see what else this thing has to offer. And apparently I've only just noticed there actually appears to be some form of cave here. I don't know that if that's intended to be an entrance to the canyon, or maybe it's just a randomly generated cave. Who knows, but we're going to explore it and figure out what happened and what's going on. So, how are you all doing today? I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I am too. In fact, I'm doing exactly the same. Oh, this is definitely not going anywhere. I'm doing exactly the same as last episode because this one is being filmed directly after last episode. What I'm actually doing is I'm actually preparing all these videos in advance, then I'm setting them to upload on certain days so that I actually just have it all uploaded, and if I don't feel like doing a video, I've got a video just waiting to be uploaded, and will uh, go public whenever I so desire to do so. So let's head back over these mountains, I can probably go round, it'll be easier, and see what we can see. I really want to get revenge on that lizard wizard, yep, over there somewhere, that was where the fire was. And I also need to cook myself some ginseng soup. I'm still in that same predicament, the same shambles as last episode, because it has literally only been about a minute. Alright, so let's see if I can get the drop on Lizard Man over there. So he has a staff, which is a vortex weapon, and a mage, so... I'm just going to throw the boomerang. Try and hit him from there. Dodge! Okay, apparently I still took damage from that. Fine. Whirling Dervish of Death. Obviously dodging, doing more damage to her, I think to her, than she's doing to me. These vortexes are overpowered and are way too easy to aim in my opinion. Come on, dodge it! There we go! Revenge is mine, motherfucker! That's what you get when you mess with Barry the Bushwhacking Frog! Who is currently being controlled by a strange dude from Australia? Yes, this makes perfect sense. Alright, so we actually managed to get revenge, but apparently we've got some... Are those no-bolts? No, those are spike creatures from memory. Now, I have a feeling they're not in this canyon to make friends, so... Let's try and avoid them if we can. Let's see and make some... We can make some pumpkin muffins! That's, that's actually really good, because... Now that we can finally make pumpkin muffins, we have a food alternative to ginseng soup, and that's 50 food right there. So let's just make those pumpkin muffins. Not all of them, because we want to save some pumpkins as well. And some ginseng soup. Let's make all the ginseng soup. That's what we came here to do, and that's what we're doing. Gosh darn it! I'm going to leave here with ginseng soup. I have to kill a million lizard wizards to do it. It'll happen. This is one of the uh, downsides I have with Cubell. I mean, it's a nice system, but the problem is it, it can get very, very boring when, especially if you're a viewer of a video like this, you watch someone literally just hold left mouse button over this little sword here, and watch them bake pumpkin muffins. Which is uh, perfectly fine if you are baked yourself, I suppose. That's a joke which I do not approve of, because I am not one of those types of people. Alright, so there are two spike creatures there. From looks, they both have shields and swords, or at least some form of melee weapon. So, if I'm lucky and I position myself correctly, let me just heal myself up with this muffin. I should be able to take them by surprise and keep my distance, and if I get enough MP up, I should be able to do a fully charged Whirling Dervish of Death, which hopefully, if they're grouped together, can stun them. There we go, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go! I love it when things go to plan. Another one again. Both of them too. Oh, and they're gone! Too easy! Too easy indeed! I am on fire! Apparently there's another campfire here too, which is not even that far from the last one. Oh well, I guess this is just a, uh, maybe it's a refugee camp for bandits or something, I don't know. There's another fire over there and another one. This is definitely being used to live in this canyon. But there doesn't appear to be a big boss that I've seen so far, so I'm just going to constantly... Ooh, there's two of them, I didn't see that second one there. What have we got here? That's a wizard, I can tell by the bracelets. And we've got three lizards over there. One's an archer. One, I presume, is a warrior, and another one is... I think that's a warrior or a rogue. Not quite sure. Considering it looks like a mace is one of the weapons they have, that's probably a warrior. That, I think, is a mage, given the staff. Hmm. And if it's a staff, it means it's a vortex, so... That could probably be less than optimal, trying to attempt to take them on. 
And over there we've got three lizards. Probably a similar build to the ones over there. But oh well, let's try not to get too close, otherwise we'll set them off. Good thing that they're so separated. It's a good thing that they're so separated, I should say. It means that we can easily take them out if we try. Now I'm not sure this will do too well. I'll just I'll just pump a mumpkin. So a mumpkin puffin was what I was gonna say. A pumpkin muffin, because I have plenty of pumpkins to make new ones. And I'm just gonna see if I can take this guy out. Let's try this, shall we? Okay, the wizard's probably the biggest target to go for. Charge up. Yep, you're on the ground. Let's see if we can finish you off at least to a significant amount of damage while you're on the ground. Okay, so he can't do much to me because he takes a long time to swing his sword. Also, we appear to be taking a lot of damage, which is not good at all. Come on! I hate wizard. I hate them unless I are amber. Okay, so that's one. Let's just see if we can get away from this wizard and then put at least a potion on our hotbar because a potion would be significantly useful here if we need it. <laughs> Fantastic, we got one. There we go. So let's just heal up with a pot. Try to avoid the fireballs as we do so. Boomerang, coming around. Oh no. Yeah, he got an instant uh, attack there. That's not good. He's doing a lot more damage to me than I am doing to him, but I managed to imagine to dodge most of his fireballs, it seems. Come on, fully charged, whirling dervish death. He's down, he's down. Go for it, go for it. One more, one more. Booyah! Defeated KO! That's what you get when you mess with me. Actually, to be fair, I messed with them, so... It's hardly fair to say that's what you get when you mess with me when I attacked them and they were acting in self-defense. I, I fully understand that. I apologize that you had to die, but, um... I wanted your fire. And your chair! I have a chair now. All is well. All is well. Alright, so what else is there? There's just appears to be a couple more canyon area. That, that's the wrong word to use. There just appears to be a couple more fires around the place with lizards and spike creatures and whatever else just wandering through the area. I suppose I could... Let me sleep and just not use a uh, potion or a pumpkin muffin to heal myself. As you can see, sleeping does in fact heal you. And see if I can pick on these guys over here because if I can constantly pick on them and defeat them, I get experience. And if I get experience, I become more powerful, thus I can more efficiently and easily defeat them. But what have we got here? So we've got three lizards. One is a ranger, one is a mage, and one is a warrior. Hmm. Given a choice, I wouldn't go for those guys straight away. Oh, you've, you've wandered away from your camp, haven't you? What are you? You are a mage. Well, you, my friend, or my enemy rather. Oh, you're a water mage too, that's fine. Cool with that. You are going to go down. So I'm just going to dodge. And then. Okay, I actually have to admit, I really enjoy fighting these. Is he hitting the ground instead of hitting me? Now, this is what we like to call the lizard dance, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy it. It is a cultural icon of the lizard nation. It's, uh, it actually has a song. It goes, it goes something like this. We are lizards dancing proud, dancing proud on uh, on this ground. We are lizards, we can fight. We also know how to bite. We are lizards, we fight fair. We are lizards in the air. We can do many things, but many things we cannot see. Many things we cannot see. I don't know what made me sing this song. Indeed, I don't, because I'm crazy bastard. Who doesn't know that? That took a very interesting turn. Very strange. Okay, you want to just run around. Since the uh, archer apparently has a bit of cover in between us, I'm just going to... Come on. There we go. Break out your, your mace. Oh no, the archer's managed to get rid of the cover in between us. That's fine. Not a big issue. Not a big issue at all. Dog's barking, cheering me on. This is good. Stunned. Go for it. Go for it. That was an eight. I heard that. I felt that critical. Come on. Ooh, I shouldn't have taken that blow. That's fine. I can do it. I can do it. Almost gone. One more. And done. I can focus all my attentions on this bugger. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. That's a charge attack. There we go. Got him. Now I just need to... Ooh, he's definitely getting a lot of damage. These uh, attacks are a lot harder to dodge than the attacks of a mage. Significantly faster these arrows are. There we go, he's stunned, he's stunned. Can't do much. One more. Oh, I am so close to death. That was close as balls. 
Seriously, I'm on 11 health. Jesus Christ. That's fine, because we don't actually have anything to worry about. We actually just have to sit down and have a fantastic little muffin and enjoy a dinner to a successful day. I suppose that's as good a time as any to any, uh, to end. <laughs> that's as good a time as any to end it, if you know what I'm trying to say. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you know the thing. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, goodbye. Hey there, did you enjoy watching this Random Productions video? If you did, awesome! I hope you watch some more of my videos. Please feel free to check out the other videos on my channel. If you didn't like this video, please comment why below so I can take your feedback and make better videos for you in the future. If you'd like to help my channel, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for future content and follow me on Twitter if you'd like to play games with me. Thanks for watching!